welcome back to my channel so today i am back and i am quite sick so i thought that i would film a bit of a sick makeup tutorial kind of a thing basically uh, what is wrong with me is i'm on two sets of antibiotics and a load of painkillers because there's something wrong with my kidneys and this happened to me before and i was admitted to hospital with it because the pains got so bad but today I'm feeling a little bit better and over the last few days I haven't been wearing a scrap of makeup on this face as you can see I look terrible but today I'm feeling the tiniest bit better and I just wanted to you know make myself feel a bit better I know I do and most people are the same we don't put makeup on for anybody else we literally just do it for ourselves to make ourselves feel that tiny bit better and when I'm feeling this way you know it's nice to just have a little something on your face to boost your confidence a bit okay so please don't mind the absolute state of me i'm just in a long sleeve gray top you know because it's nice and cozy i've got my hair up in a ponytail no makeup on big black eyes under my eyes because i have been finding it so hard to sleep these last few nights i've been awake till three and four in the morning okay so first what i like to do is i will start off with a cc cream so it's basically the same thing as a BB cream and I have been loving this one lately. It is the Giordani Gold CC Cream SPF 35 and it is by Oriflame. So as you can see, it's just this really pretty packaging. So I will just take a very small amount. Okay, it looks like a lot more than it is, but I swear when you blend it, it's not. And when I'm not feeling well, but I just want to have a bit of CC cream on my face, I tend to just like stick it on with my fingers because it really blends it out and makes it a lot more natural. So I will just rub that into my hands and blend that all over my face to give me a bit of life <laughs> back in my face. <laughs> Next I like to just go in with a concealer and the one I'm just going to be using is the Wake Me Up Concealer in the lightest shade by Rimmel like so. I will only use a very small amount now so I will just take that and pop a bit right under my eyes like that and then I've got a few spots on my chin and I'm just gonna pop a bit on them and around my nose and also then I will, I'm just gonna blend that out with my fingers because when I'm ill when I'm sick and I don't wanna really, I'm only putting on a bit of makeup on my face, I'm not really that bothered with using loads of brushes and stuff, you know? Because you really wanna get it proper blended out when you're not putting a proper foundation or anything on. Also, just be so careful when you're using your finger to blend your concealer, um, because under the under eye area is such a delicate area, so you wanna be so gentle and just do really light dabbing motions, as you can see I'm doing. <laughs> Okay, so now that the darkness is covered up a bit and I'm looking a little bit more alive, we could say, I'm just going to go in with the Natural Collection Loose Powder in the lightest shade. And I'm just gonna set my concealer with this using the tiniest amount, just so it doesn't, you know, cake up on me or anything. And I'm just gonna go in with the Real Technique Duo Fiber Face Brush. Okay, so now that that concealer is set, I'm just going to go in and fill in my eyebrows. So first I'm just taking this really old eyebrow brush and I'm just going to brush up my hairs and make sure they're all together. Now I'm just going to be going in with the Inglot um, AMC Brow Liner Gel in the shade 19 and just an, a really old MAC um, eyebrow brush that came with a set I got years ago. I just love this brush, it's so handy because it's so small. Okay, so now that I've got my eyebrows filled in and I got some brows, I am just going to go in with a the MAC um, blush in Harmony. It is a really light um, bronzing powder, it's actually blush but it's very light when you put it on your brush and I'm gonna take the smallest amount on my Real Techniques contour brush. I honestly feel like if you don't do anything when you're sick, if you put on your eyebrows, you feel a hundred times better because I already do. <laughs> a little bit of a 
um, definition going on my face now. Yes, girl, yes. <laughs> but I'm just going to go in with some Caramax lip balm. I absolutely love this. It's so moisturising. I don't like to put like lipstick right on my lips when I'm not feeling very well. I just like to have some lip balm on so they're moisturising my lips throughout the day. Okay, so now I'm just going to go in with my NYX Wonder Pencil in the lightest shade and stick a bit of that on my bottom waterline just to brighten my eyes up a bit and make me look more awake than I actually am. Jeez, I'm after stabbing myself in the eye with the pencil look. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus, I'm not crying, guys. <laughs> I'm sure. I need to sort my life out. I am then just going to be going in with the Maybelline Colossal and um, Volume Express Mascara in 100% black and just popping a bit of this on my eyelashes. Oh, there's a hair on my mascara brush. Hot damn. <laughs> And that is my finished sick makeup tutorial look guys and um, please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed please subscribe down below if you haven't already because it would really make my day I'll talk to you guys very very soon and I love you all so much bye bye